NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we will discuss about how to calculate the average current flow through the inductor for the buck boost and buck boost converters. Let me discuss. We already discussed the how to calculate the average output voltage for the buck boost and buck boost converters. In this video, we will discuss the average current flow through the inductor for buck boost and buck boost converters. These are the performance measures for the converters or choppers. When you are going to derive the expressions, performance measures for the buck boost, buck boost converters, you should know the circuit diagram for the buck and boost and buck boost converters. Then only you can easily derive the performance measures for these choppers. So, for the buck converter, this is a circuit for the buck converter. Already we discussed how to remember the uh, circuit diagram for the boost converter and buck boost converter in the last video, average output calculations video. Just refer this video. That video link is attached in the description box of the video. The average current flow through the inductor can be easily calculated by using the capacitor characteristics. What is capacitor characteristics? Under steady state condition, the capacitor acts as open. That means when the switch position changes from one position to other, after a long time, that means steady state condition, the capacitor will act as open. There is no current flow through the capacitor. That means maximum charge, maximum voltage will be charged. So, when we change the switch position alternatively on and off conditions, the average current flow through the capacitor will be zero. So, the average current flow through the capacitor when the switch position alternately changes from on and off and off to on, the average current flow will be IC on into T on plus IC off into T of is equal to zero. That equation is called as ampere second balance equation. By using the ampere second balance equation, we can find the average current flow through the inductor for the buck boost and buck boost conductor. Before the calculation of average current flow through the inductor for buck boost and buck boost conductor, you should know the basic relations duty ratio, T on and T off relations. The relations are already discussed in the output voltage calculations video. Just refer these concepts. Now we will discuss the average current flow through the inductor calculation for the buck converter. We know that for the performance measures calculations, you should remember the circuits initially. This is circuits. By using the ampere second balance equation, we can easily find the average current flow through the inductor. We need to calculate the current flow through the capacitors during on time and current flow through the capacitor during off time. During switch on period, the switch is closed condition, short circuit. So the current will flow from the positive end of the battery, but this diode does not allow the current flow from cathode to anode. So the diode acts as reverse bias, open condition. So then the equivalent circuits will become like this. The switch is closed. But this diode is open. What will the current flow? Here, this is the current flow direction IC, I naught. So, what will be the IC on? IC on is equal to this IL average current. This is the average current. We are going to find the average value. So, this is IL average value, this is I naught. Apply current law at this junction, we will get IC on is equal to IL average minus I naught. Now, we will find the IC off. When the switch is off condition, this is a buck converter, the switch is open. Already the inductor stores some currents. The current will discharge from load to diode. The diode allows the current flow from anode to cathode. The circuit current will flow from this path. So now equivalent circuits will become like this. The switch is open, the diode is on condition, current flow direction is like that. Now apply Krizov's current law at this junction, we will get IC of is equal to IL average minus I naught. Sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current. To find the average current flow through the inductor, use the ampere balance equation. The ampere second balance equation is IC on T on plus IC of in T of is equal to 0. Because the average current flow through the capacitor is 0. Substitute these values here. IC on is equal to IL average minus I naught. T on is equal to dt, dt ratio in time, IC of IL average minus I naught, 
t of is equal to t minus dt is equal to 0. Simplify this equation, we will get I L average is equal to I naught. This is the average coming through the inductor for a converter. Now we will discuss the average coming through the inductor calculation for the boost converter. Just remember the circuits. This is the circuits for the boost converter. During on time, when the switch is on, the switch is on condition, closed condition, say short circuit, all the current flows towards the short circuit path, there is no current flows towards the anode because it is short circuits. This point voltage will be zero, so the diode will become as reverse bias. So now, now the circuits equivalent. Now the equivalent circuit will become like this. Switch is on, that will be open condition. So the current will current flow path will like this. This is zero current. Apply current line at this junction, we will get IC on is equal to minus I naught. During switch off condition, for circuits, the switch is open, so current flow from the positive terminal to inductor and diode to load. Now the diode will act as forward bias. So now the equivalent circuits will become like this. What will be the value of IC off? Let's apply the current at this junction. We will get IC off is equal to IL average minus I naught. Here this is the average current. Yes, we are going to find the average value. This is average value, this is average value. So average value. So use the pandemic side balance equation for the calculation of average current to the inductor. So IC on value is equal to minus I naught, T n value dt plus IC of value IL minus I naught, T f value T minus dt is equal to 0. Simply by this equation, we will get I L average is equal to I naught by 1 minus T. Now we will calculate the average current flow through the inductor for the buck push converter. Buck converter means step down, step down converter, boost converter means step up converter, buck push converter means step down and up converter. Choppers. The circuit for the buck push converter is like this. For the calculation of average current flow through the inductor, I am going to use the ampere second balance equation. I am going to find IC on and IC off. Then only I can find easily the average current flow through the inductor. So when the switch is on condition, it is short circuits, but this diode does not allow the current flow from cathode to anode, so it acts as open. Now the equivalent circuits will become like this: the switch is on and diode is off. But the buck post converter already we know the average output voltage for the buck post converter always negative. Already we discussed in the previous video, just refer that video. So, the average output voltage always negative. So, the current in the buck push converter always flow out from the load, not inside. But in the buck converter and boost converters, the current always the output voltage will be positive. So, current will flow towards the load. Okay. So, now apply the current at this junction. IC on is equal to I naught. Incoming current is equal to outgoing current. This is incoming, this is outgoing current. Why is our current direction is changed? Just refer the average output calculation video. In that video, for the buck boost converter, in all condition, average output voltage will be negative. So the current will flow out from the low. Okay. Today switch off condition. What will be the IC of? So the switch is open condition, the charge current in the inductor will flow from the load to diode through this path because the diode only allows the current flow from anode to cathode, not cathode to anode. So the equivalent circuits will become like this. Inductor will discharge from load to diode. So the direct conduction will be in this side. Now the this current at this junction will get IC of is equal to I naught minus I L average because uh, I naught only incoming current and I D and I C are outgoing currents. Now use the ampere and balance equation for the calculation of average output current. So I C on is equal to I naught D T plus I C of I naught minus I L average T F value T minus D T is equal to zero. 
simply with this equation we will get i l average is equal to i not by 1 minus i d so the average comes from the inductor buckwheat scatter and buckwheat scatter both are same but the current direction only changed this is the average current flow through the inductor calculation for the buck boost and buckwheat scatter now do it yourself this question as as in gate question 21 examinations this is a buckwheat scatter the frequency is given the relation between frequency and time reduce t is given by f from that find the t qt ratio is given at the cycle is given d is given from that we can find t and time t of time so we know the formula for the average current flow through the inductor for the buckwheat converter vl il average is equal to i not by 1 minus d okay find the average current i not value we know how to calculate the average output voltage we not find the average output voltage by using the average output voltage find the average output current by calculating the average output current then calculate the average current through the inductor by using this formula the answer is 24 amps try if your answer is mismatched definitely comment your answers if you have any doubts in the concepts post your doubts our whatsapp group you can get the clarification okay continuously watch our channel you can get good marks in the competitive examinations thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share